Uh, good morning everybody, Dr. A. Back to show you some more plants that I just think that we can't do without. Of course, I love the annuals and uh, I'm in the trial gardens at the University of Georgia. So if you want to see annuals in color or boy, whatever's new in the breeding world, come and see me and I'll take you around and uh, you'll really enjoy the trial gardens at the University of Georgia. Uh, one of the plants that uh, everybody's interested in, of course, is called fan flower. Or we know it as scavola. And scavola does very, very well in the heat and humidity. It's native to Australia. And uh, so it's it's pretty tough old bird. Uh, this is one of my favorite series called, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a white one. And it's called Surdiva, S-U-R-D-I-V-A. Uh, you know, I, I think a, a terrific series of plants. And if you can see them and find them, you might want to take a look at them. This uh, comes from a good friend at Suntory. A, a fine breeder uh, out of Japan and they do a great job and you can see others down the road here too. So there's a whole ton of these scavolas. They're tough, they're heat tolerant, they're humidity tolerant and uh, you don't get too many insects or diseases. So come on and see me. Let's talk about things but here's a plant that's easy to use in containers in the bed called scavola or fan flower. Normally bluish or kind of rose. The white one does stand out. All the best. Come see me soon in beautiful Athens, Georgia.